my beauties how's everybody doing thanks for joining me welcome back so today is going to be the day where I'm sharing my product standouts for the year of 2017 so if you guys would like to see what those are keep on watching My last one was my uh, fails and regrets. So if you guys missed that, I'll put a link down below to that video and you can see what I kind of regretted and what was a fail for me this year for 2017. So let's hop right into it. And these are my standouts for 2017. I'm going to be all over the place. I'm going to work on skincare and hair care. So I'm going to be flopping back and forth with skincare and hair care. First item, and you guys were laughing at me. I don't even remember how it was like a Tula Waja. You guys probably remember I was doing that. Ta-da! Uh, I got mine in Rite Aid. But I'm not sure. How, my husband told me how to pronounce that name. And I should have asked him before I filmed. But it's the Curly Curl Cream. And oh my goodness, is this an awesome curl cream. Very thick but also it smells simply amazing. So also, you guys know Nick Chubbas. I really got into a lot of his products this year and his advanced volume shampoo and conditioner. Yeah, I got my huge, gigantic uh, shampoo and conditioner of this advanced volume shampoo and conditioner. So, and then speaking of Nick Chubbas, I had to put this in here, his Velvet Mesquite Serum. He does have the Velvet Mesquite shampoo and conditioner. That's the one I want to try next. Oh my god, guys, this has done, my hair literally smells pretty amazing. I used all Nick Chavez stuff, and oh my goodness, my hair smells so, because I kept, when I pulled my hair down, I was getting ready for this video, I was like, mmm, like my hair smells pretty amazing, so I, between Vans Volume Shampoo and Conditioner and then this, so yes, the Velvet Mesquite um, Hair Serum is just a lovely serum. I really enjoy this. For face, I got this this year and it's from Freeman, and you guys know I like a lot of Freeman face masks. But this one is the Cleansing Apple Cider Vinegar Clay Mask and Scrub. And I'm telling you what, this is a really nice one. It leaves my skin feeling clean, smooth, soft. I really like it. You can tell it probably pulls out the impurities and everything. Really like the Freeman. So yeah, I would highly recommend checking this one out. It's like a combination of a mask and a scrub all in one. So you get like the whole thing. Another hair product here. I had to mention my Joyaco hair oil also. This is the restorative I think uh, K-Pak Restorative Styling Oil. It smells amazing and it has worked really good for me. And I do like the brand Joyaco. So highly would rec recommend checking them out. For the body, I like the company Soap and & Glory. And this body wash is wonderful. It has the vanilla almond scent in it. And it's a super creamy and smoothing, it says uh, shower cream. And it is, it's really nice. It's the rich and famous um body wash oh my goodness this smells amazing very luxurious pampering yeah one of them days and the item i love for the face and i'm getting more because this is an amazing cleanser it is one of my favorites is the face and soap and clarity vitamin c facial wash which i am down to the nitty gritty there as you can see and i love this facial wash it is great in the morning especially because it kind of preps me, wakes me up and everything. And it has these little micro beads in there. I love this facial wash. I will not do without it. It is probably one of my favorite facial washes compared to my Marm Descu uh, Orange Creamy Cleanser. That one I love too. But oh my goodness, this is such a lovely cleanser. One other face mask, kind of lied. I do have another face mask, but this is a sheet mask. I have one left and I love this and that's why I've been holding on to it because I want to get do want to get more and it's from the company pharmacy this did come in a boxy charm and it's the brightening uh, uh, activated by enzymes with rich purple broccoli extract when I put it on and left it on as I did and I took it off I didn't have to really fully you know how sometimes you have the serum left over and you massage it in it's like this soaks right into your skin like it actually dispenses all them good good things in your skin and you don't have to massage it. It's a hydrating coconut gel mask. Amazing. I was impressed with that. So this cleanser here I fell in love with and it's the Germa E anti-wrinkle cleanser, the glycolic acid, uh, vitamin A and glycolic acid cleanser. 
totally going to go and jump into Derma E this year too. There's several of these brands here. I'm going to jump in and try some more of the products. Derma E is another one. And these two are huge standout for me this year. Huge standouts. It's the Rose Hip Night Serum from the company Levin Rose. Oh my goodness. I had to do without this thing for a while when I was doing my testing with my skincare products that was sent to me. A video I just shared not long ago with two companies. I didn't add this in the regimen because I was trying, you know, the other ones out with different things. So without this, I mean, now that I'm using it again, I see a difference again. This I purchased on Amazon. Oh, I am so glad I did. And it's from the company Asterwoods. I purchased this on Amazon. Um, it was our... Susie, a little poet, had talked about this, and it's the Matrixel 3000 Argoline Vitamin C. So I felt like, wow, you know, I can't go wrong there. It was $13 or something. You have all three. Let me just say, I'm getting down to the nitty gritty with this too. I am definitely going to be repurchasing it. I'm like right about here somewhere. Again, stopped using this while I was doing the other skincare regimen. Totally seen a difference. These two products here, I think, are part of my game-changing experience this year. This is a new one to me, but I did use it and had a little sample. And then it was like one of them things because I was trying so many other products, I forgot about it. And then I purchased the big one because it was on sale and there was a coupon and all that kind of stuff. And it's from L'Oreal and it's the Age Perfect Facial Oil. And this one actually has a sunscreen uh, SPF of 30 in it. This has made a nice difference in the texture of my skin. Very nice, very nice. Now I'm gonna tell you, mind you, these two, and then with this, and the next products I'm gonna to talk to you about, I think is what you guys are noticing because I am getting so many comments on my skin. Your skin looks amazing. What are you doing? What are you using? That's a, everybody's noticing. I have never had so many comments and compliments on my skin like I am right now. And I went back to these two products, added this, and the next ones I'm gonna share with you. There's three items. I'm just gonna put them all together. Now, this company did send me products and they sent a lot of the beauty uh, beauties on here products. And it is the company Nudu, Nudu. These three products, they sent me everything. And while the other products are nice, um, and they, they, they work nice. They feel lovely. These are the ones that stand out. So this is my standout video. So if I'm going to be sharing a standout, these are my three standouts. One is the toner. It is a small container of toner. That's the one thing I thought, oh man, I'm going to get through this in no time. This is a different toner. It's not real watery base. It's more of a thicker liquid, almost like a gel substance liquid or something. And it has like an orange scent. Oh my goodness, an orange scent or something in there. Like some of these have like cherry, almond, oils and stuff. The toner, totally gonna repurchase this. And it actually has lasted longer than what I expected. I thought I'd be done with this in no time, like within a week and a half or something like that. No, I mean, there's still like a little bit left in here. The two moisturizers, one is more expensive than the other one. The other one's still pricey, but I mean, it's not like it's $20 or something. It is like around 40, 40. 40, 50, I don't know, I'll have to figure it out. But this one is the Ultra Rich Moisturizer. This one is the one I used during the daytime. Um, but oh my goodness, again, it is lovely. So this I would always put in the daytime. And then this is the Overnight Radiance Renew Cream. And this is what I put on at night. I'm telling you, these three items and these three items, I truly believe is what you guys are noticing with my skin. I really do. I started using these in August. Right after I stopped using the Rior, I started using these. August, September, October, and even in through. So, I mean, that kind of tells you how well these, these will last you. All right, makeup. One huge standout to me in foundation, which, uh, well, actually is CC cream, and it's the It CC. These have been a huge standout for me. I love both the Illumination one and the original. I like them both in their own way. I have the original one right now. So I really like both of them. I can't say I, I favor one over the other, to be honest. I really can't. 
So I, I mean, they, they both have the same SPF 50 and everything, but huge standout. Makeup brushes that were some standouts to me this year. A lot of these I got in my boxy charm though. That's the funny thing. A few I ordered, but a lot of these are my boxy charm. My fan brush, my it's the Jumbo Kabuki fan brush, and it's from Crown Royal. Love this fan brush. It dispenses so lovely. I sometimes just glide down a little bit and just, oh, it's, it is lovely. This, oh my goodness, and I think it was Kathy Beauty Care Chest because she thought this was the Marc Jacobs. And I'm like, no, it's actually, I think, is this Crown too? Uh, Royal and Linkle. Um, this is the Moto, Moda Pro, and it has that you know, ball-shaped, like your blush, or you could do it for contour if you wanted to. I know some people use the Marc Jacobs for that. This is a lovely brush. This one here, the only thing I said in my video was the neck part made it a fail for me, and I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. But I love this brush. It's still a standout. And you want to know what? This actually dispensed my my foundation better than the other, the other one I shared in my last video that ended up being a fail for me. Now, this is from Crown also this is from crown and oh it i just i love it i have to hold it carefully up here though when i'm doing it but just love how this has done my foundation it did do much better and this came in my boxy charm okay this is another one that came in the boxy charm this is an eye brush this is also from royal and lankle lankle it came with the collection with with this rounded brush here it's a crease brush I love this crease brush. It gets right in there perfectly for me to blend. It blends lovely. I really enjoy it. Okay, and these two are Morphe brushes right here. I thought I had another one. Not sure where I, what I did with that, but this one's the M3, uh, M322. This one gets right tight in the crease. That's what I like about this one. This one's the M204 Morphe brush. It's more of a flat uh, brush to pack on like your eyeshadows maybe or something a really nice one too when you're packing on but this one I like even more and it's not a Morphe one again came in my boxy charm Audiography Pro never even heard of them but it's a flat shader this one really packs on nice I really like it when you're getting to pack on on your eyelid and everything so yeah another standout concealers definitely the tart shape tape without a doubt the, but you know what the one that really popped out at me is the Physician Formula. This Insta Ready, oh my gosh. I mean, a little packs a punch and goes a long way with this guy here. It comes with a little small teeny um, sponge applicator to do, and I love that. This thing is potent. I'm mean, price difference. I feel this could give the same coverage, to be honest. I don't know. I think the shade range is the only stinky part on some of the physician's formula. They're, that's the only stinky part, I think, with physician's formula. Primers. A drugstore, again, like hard candy, this one here, in a stick. It's called the Coconut Water Primer Stick. Oh my gosh, this thing is amazing. It actually, my pores, it diminishes like my I you don't notice my pores so much I mean you can put this on after before whatever I even take my fingers sometimes go like this and like dab right here like if I start noticing them creasy lines or something love this thing this is amazing this one I like for the illumination kind of a primer and it's from Rim, Rimmel and it's the Insta Flawless uh, Perfection Radiant Primer. I, I've seen somebody share this and it is a really nice primer. Um, it doesn't fill the pores in as well as this one does, but it does give a nice illumination. And I did hear somebody compare this to the Backup Light Primer. I don't know. I've never tried. I don't think I tried that one. I know I tried the other one, the purple color one. I don't think I tried the Backup. So, or Backlight. Backup. Is it backup or backlight? Whatever. One of those things from Becca, if you guys know which one I'm talking about, but somebody compared it to that. These are huge standouts for me. I have one of them on my eyelids, and then I packed on some eyeshadows on top of it all from a palette, but I put this on first. But even if I wore these alone, they, there's, they, they stay on until you take them off. And these are all from L'Oreal. It's the infallible... Uh, what are these? The paints? The infallible paints for the eyes? Oh my goodness. 
I have three here. This one here is the nude uh, fishnet. And I actually, one side is more of a matte shade. And then this here is what I have on my eyelid. Like I said, it stays on. It is insane. I mean, I bought one or two and then tried them out and got more. Mascara, standout mascara, it has to be the Tarte Lights Camera's lashes. And that's why even when I have on my eyelash lashes today, this one impressed me. I mean, it's been out for how long? I never tried it and got it in one of my kits and oh my goodness, I am loving it. So I would purchase this one. There's certain ones I'd purchase again. Yeah, Lights Camera uh, Flat, Lights Camera Lashes. Love this mascara. So going along with the eyes, two eyeliners in their drugstores. One is the Maybelline Lasting Drama. This one's in Striking Copper. This is a beautiful waterline color, or if you want to just put on the lower lash line. Beautiful, beautiful copper shade. It is just beautiful. It lasts, like for me in the waterline, this doesn't come off until I take it off. Same with this eyeliner. This one here is from the uh, Silkus Me uh, from L'Oreal, and it's turquoise. That's what I actually have on the lower waterline right now. And I feel like these make your eyes pop even more. I don't use black so much on my waterline or anywhere there too much. I like to make it more open and, and pop more. Okay, for lips, some of the standouts were uh, from Wonder Beauty. This is the dual-ended Wonder Beauty lipsticks. These lipsticks feel amazing, uh, go on pretty amazing. I don't know if they have just single without the dual. I'm not sure. I'd have to look and see, but it does make me want to go and try some more of their lipsticks out. But these are very nice, smooth and creamy lipsticks. Really enjoy them. Very comfortable. This I have on my lips right now. Um, it's one of their pencil crayon kind of uh, lip product. But it's a beautiful like nude pink or something. And that's what I have on my lips right now beautiful also. I love, like I said, Urban Decay, the formula. This one I really fell in love with, um, Expedition. I love this color. It is so pretty. I love that. And the formula is very comfortable. It's like a matte, but it's a creamy matte and it's very comfortable. Some liquid lipsticks here. I do really like the Bare, Mineral, Bare Minerals liquid lipsticks. I see why everybody likes them. They are very comfortable. They're not too drying like some can be out there. So I'm going to venture out and get some more of the Bare, Mineral, Bare Minerals liquid lipsticks as well. I only got this little dinky Makeup Forever liquid lipstick because it came in a deluxe sample and you got it for free or something and how you do you get them for free again felt comfortable i really like it so i'm going to venture and try some more of those buxom this lip liner here i love mine's in dolly danger which seems to be the most popular from many on here that i hear i'm going to get out and try some more you can use this as a lip liner lipstick you can just go all over on your lips and it, it, that's what what I love about it. It's it's a fat, chubby like lip liner. So love this one. That's Dolly Danger. Another eye product I forgot an eyeliner is my Fierce Flicks from Cartier. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure, but it's called Fierce Flicks eyeliner. This eyeliner has impressed me so much. The tip, everything, I, it just works, glides so great for me. I might find something similar to it from Maybelline. Not sure. It's the tip that gets me on this one though. So this one stands out so much more. Let's go ahead and I'll share some uh, blush items here. Uh, my Beauty and the Beast blush palette. Oh my goodness. I could not stop using it. Love Lorac blushes. So I constantly was pulling this one out here, um, especially working between these two colors on the end. Kept forgetting about the highlighter in there and I don't know why because I love their highlighters. They have some pretty amazing uh, highlighters along with the California. I was using the California a lot from you know um, Benefit. It is a lovely color. It's a beautiful peachy color. Love that. It is gorgeous. That's probably one of the pretty one of the prettiest peach colors. I knew it was gonna have to be in here. It's my Duo Glow Natasha Denona. This one's in Rayo and I do have a peach color one. 
but this you don't even need a highlighter. It's like your blush highlighter all in one or topper. You can put a blush on and some people like to double blush. So you could do that with this too, but beautiful, beautiful blush. This is the blush Aurora. Oh my goodness. From La Rock. It is beautiful. I love it. It's a beautiful, like neutral mauve pink color. Oh, love it. And you get a kit with this and one of their highlighters. Speaking of highlighters, Lorac highlighters are a huge standout to me. I love my Laura Mercier, of course, which I've shared that many times. But in 2017, I feel like I've kind of, yeah, found these from Lorac. One's Moonlight, one's Starlight. Starlight actually came with the Aurora kit. So you get Starlight and then there's Moonlight. Moonlight's more of a pinky color. This one's more golden color. Starlight is what I'm wearing today. That is the glow that you see going on. That's what I'm wearing. And it doesn't even look like you're wearing highlighter. It melts into the skin. That's what I like with a highlighter. After you're done with your makeup and you want to set everything, I'm all about the glow, guys. You know that. I'm, I'm a person that loves my glow. Cover FX Light Illuminating Setting Powder. Totally $10 I paid for this guy. You can get it on Sephora for $10, and it does. It is a very finely milled, gorgeous powder. I would highly recommend checking their setting powders out. And this here, this is um, Mood mood Light. That's what it is, Mood Light. I was trying to remember because I was telling somebody I do have one of their minis from Hourglass. And this is one of the Hourglass uh, ambient powders. And it goes perfect with my skin. I actually put it all over on today. And I just, I love it. I see why they're so popular. It blurs all of your lines, your imperfections, kind of a thing, your pores and everything. Love this. I would get the full size of the mood light once this one goes. Okay, eyeshadow palettes. Eyeshadow palettes that are stand out to me. These are the Maybelline ones I was telling you guys about that do stand out to me. The City Mini palettes. I got two of them here. This one is the Roof, Rooftop Bronzes. And the pigmentation in these are pretty amazing. They do have some glitter in some of them, so if you don't like that, they wouldn't probably be for you. Uh, this one's from Shayla, and this has some pretty golds and purples. There is some matte shades in there too, and some of them. But this has some golds and purples, and it's worth the money, I think. Definitely, this stood out to me, and I fell in love with Natasha Denona. This eyeshadow palette, the Joyco one, and I'm loving the colors. I mean, there's some beautiful berry burgundy colors, rose gold color there. Of course, my gold, that is a really true gold, and that one's a sparkly, but it didn't do too bad. I tried it. I was a little worried, like, is it going to fall out? Am I going to have problems? No, I didn't really have much of a problem. Another one I got in my BoxyCharm, and I'm going to tell you, this is so worth looking into. That's the only one they have right now, but it's the company Winky Lux. And this is the uh, kitten palette. It's called the kitten palette. So cute packaging. Oh my goodness. And the colors, it reminds me between ColourPop and Makeup Geek in a sense. You know, the way the way they are and everything. The pigmentation. Yes, I think it was like $25 on Ulta right now for these beautiful palette. I would definitely check it out. And then lastly, the Jaclyn Hill palette. I mean, y'all seen the inside of it, so I'm not going to pull mine out and be seeing what it looks like and everything and how many videos, but I was pretty impressed. And the color scheme in here and everything. I love it. So, all right, guys. So thanks so much for watching. I wanted to wish each and every one of you a happy, happy new year and wishing you the very best of the upcoming new year for many. And uh, it's hard to believe 2018, here we come. It's hard to believe it, but it's going to be here before we know it. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and that would help me out so much. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below, as well as the bell. If you hit the bell, it notifies you by email of when my new videos are uploaded and ready to watch. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So, till next year, I will see you then. I love you guys very much. Happy New Year. Be safe out there. And... I'll see you next year. Bye.